Hi and welcome. We're here today to tell you about some great new young adult fiction and nonfiction. I'm Kathy Williams, a reading specialist at Lake Braddock Middle School. And I'm Annalise Schnebley. I'm a librarian at Hayfield Secondary School. And today I'm going to tell you about uh, the book Summer and Bird. Now before I tell you about it, I have to kind of explain what this book is like. This book is like the richest, most chocolatey cake you can ever imagine. So if you take a bite of it and it just overwhelms your senses with delicious flavor, but you kind of have to like take small bites. And this is exactly what this book is like. So I'm not I'm, sure I can handle that. I think, but, but you'll enjoy it because it's, because like really chocolatey cake, it's just amazing. The story uh, is about two sisters named Summer and Bird and they wake up one morning and their mom and their dad and their cat are missing and they have no idea where they went. And when they go and search around looking for their parents, they find this picture note that their mother has left them. And they look at the pictures and put together the clues and they figure out that they're supposed to go to the woods to look for their mom and dad. So they do. But you know, something crazy is gonna happen. They actually get sucked into the world of down. And in the world of down, it's filled with all of these birds, these birds that actually talk. And it's ruled by this woman who's called the puppeteer and she's not a very nice person. She actually swallows birds whole so that she can temporarily gain the ability to speak like birds and understand bird language. I'm scared of the land of down. It is not always the nicest place. It's very strange and kind of creepy. Uh, and to make matters worse, once the sisters get down there, they actually split up and they end up going on two very different journeys. Um, and they run into all sorts of very strange creatures and spirits and trying to find the bird queen and bring the birds back to their true home. So it's a great book for students who like very rich, imaginative fantasy. Co kind of spooky too. Oh, definitely there are some spooky aspects. Right. And that's today's book talk.